What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I hope you like this video. This is the season finale for Encore. Um, again, if you didn't catch my quick drop, we had a whole conversation about where is Pam? And of course, I knew I would get the answer to this question in the season finale, so let's talk about it. So the ladies are getting ready for their performance. We are at go time, you know. Um, they are... Staying up all night, they are taking espresso shots so they can get the choreography right, they can get it tight, they can get it the way they want it. So, the first thing we had to do was do a final wardrobe check. Listen, they're going to their final rehearsal, they're doing a final wardrobe check, and there is no wardrobe. Everything they had agreed upon is gone. Um, the stylist said something to the effect of... The designer that they had pulled out at the last minute, there was some sort of misunderstanding, miss something, and the designer pulled out. And so that was basically all they could pull together and what was left. Um, everybody seems to have what they were looking for except for Shamari. The outfits they have for Shamari have her being, showing all her ass, okay? Showing her whole body. And she is like, yeah, I'm not doing that. Like, I'm not going to be on stage and be the only one looking crazy on stage. Like, that's not going to happen. Um... We see her talking to her husband saying, listen, I'm not going to be on stage looking like a hoe. Like, I'm not going to be the only one on stage with my ass hanging out. Like, that's not going to happen. That's not cool. That's not cute. And I'm not doing it. And I can respect her for that. I can absolutely respect her for saying, listen, I am not because maybe, you know, I'm the thinnest or they feel like they could get away with it. Like, I'm not going to be the one on stage looking crazy. I'm not doing that. Um, and I will give Felicia. Is it Felicia? Who the queen? Felicia. I will give Felicia credit. Felicia got on the phone. She sent a text to her stylist um, and told her stylist what she needed. Um, and the stylist came through. I'm going to just listen. This, this review probably going to take that long. The stylist actually did come through. With less than 24 hours notice, she was able to get them what they needed and the sizes that they needed. Now, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I call bullshit on this whole situation. I feel like this was just for drama. But okay, let's pretend like I believe that that's what happened. Shouts out to the stylist for getting it done. Pay no attention to the wardrobe change. So anyway, we are back. So they've got clothes for Shamari, okay? They got Shamari taken care of. Um, Panda came through. That's the stylist's name. She came through and Killy is happy. The twins are happy. For the first time, everybody's just happy, okay? Now, while they were having their dress rehearsal, well, it wasn't really a dress rehearsal, but I guess it was their last, like, technical rehearsal right before the show, they, there was a little situation where Aaliyah was, felt like they weren't putting in enough oomph into the dance moves, and she sort of said something. Kelly throws a whole hissy fit. She walks off the stage. She was like, ain't nobody going full out because we're already in glam. If they wanted us to do a full out, you know, rehearsal, then they shouldn't have done our makeup first. This is amateur hour. Now, let me say this. I agree with what Kelly said. I don't agree with how Kelly said it, but I agree with what Kelly said. Kelly made a very valid point. Why the hell are we in full glam and you want us to have a whole final rehearsal where you want us to go all out like full on? Like we should have done that first, then went into hair and makeup. But again, it's the way you do it. Like throwing a hissy fit and a tantrum like you're five years old and you're back, you know, with 3LW. I understand now why you got the reputation for throwing chicken. Because you look like you was getting ready to throw a piece right there. If you was near the craft table, I feel like it would have been some fruit flying in Aaliyah's direction. <sighs> anyway, child. Anyway. So, then, um, you know, they, they, they said they prayer. And they got ready to go on stage. Now, let me say this. I enjoyed most of the performances. The first two or three songs they sang, Pam was not on stage with them. Because, you know, Pam already said, I'm not going to call nobody no hoe. I ain't going to be doing a whole bunch of, you know, twerking and all that good stuff. I ain't doing all of that, okay? So, out of respect, Pam just didn't come out on stage. Now, when it was time for her to sing her gospel number, I thought it was interesting because Pam came out on stage looking straight out of a total video from 1994, okay? She had on a wife beater, and she had on these, like, leather sweatpants situation and, like, a leather coat, and she was doing the whole... Like, it looked like a total... And then she started singing gospel, and I was like, okay, I'm here for you, Pam. Now, I like the song. I really, really really like the song and that ain't no bs i like most of the songs to be honest with you the only issue i had 
And this is me being an old lady. So some of y'all might not agree, but understand I'm just an old woman, okay? I'm an old lady. That last song they performed, um, not the last song, but the, the song they performed on the couch. I think it might have been the last song. The one they performed on the couch, was it Talking Talking? I don't remember which one it was. Is it me or did it cross the line from being sexual to just raunchy? Like, I'm here for sex appeal. I'm here for sexy. I'm here for slithering on a couch and giving a come here the look with a smoky eye. Like, I'm okay with all of that. But did it seem to y'all that it just crossed that line and it was just raunch? It was just raw. Am I, am I the only stick in the mud? It's just me. Okay, but it's my, it might just be me, y'all. It might just be me. That's right. Um... So then we had, um, they did their women's anthem, which I thought was nice. And they had the names of women on the board behind them, on the screen behind them. And they had their names up there, but they had other names, you know, of course, Breonna Taylor and Rosa Parks. And, you know, the list goes on and on and on. You know, black women have done great things. So I thought it was cool. Uh, I did think that was definitely cool. Um, in their confessionals, all of them gave a shout out to the rest of the ladies who weren't there. They gave a shout out to, you know, what they, what they, what they contributed, what they provided, um, you know, of course, sad that they weren't there for the end of it to see, to see it end. Um, and, and that was pretty much it, y'all. I mean, it was a finale and the majority of it was their performance. And I ain't about to sit here and go song by song, critique by critique. But like I said, I enjoyed the whole thing except for that one song where they was on the couch. And I mean, even to the point where Keely is, is, I, I mean, we saw her draws. You know, I mean, I'm sure they were like the little like chili and draws that you didn't mind if you showed. But I mean, she showed the draws. And I was just like, these are damn near 40 year old women. Like, I... like I said, that's the old lady in me, y'all. Anyway, overall, I think it was a hit. I think the show was a hit. Kudos to Carlos. I don't know how much Todd had to do with it, but his name was still on the marquee. So kudos to Todd Tucker. Um, I'm definitely here for a season two or whatever that looks like. I don't know if they're going to try to do another girl group and ask, you know, see if some of those girls want to come back and sort of redeem themselves if we're going to do the guys group way. But this is definitely a formula that we can continue to do because, I mean, we have no shortage of girl groups, guy groups, especially from that era, um, that for whatever reason, you know, they ain't still here, you know. Um... I would definitely be here for another season. Move, um, with that being said, Pam is not, um, she left the group shortly after um, this so that she could pursue um, her gospel career. That's what she wants to do. And Shamari also posted on her social media that she was going to pursue a solo career as well. So um, I hope y'all not looking for no, you know, blueprint tour coming soon because i don't think that's gonna happen because clearly the not race she don't want to be in no group so we just down to the twins okay all right y'all y'all let me know what y'all think though drop it in those comments peace